Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 3rd of November. Bhutan's king visits India amid fresh momentum on border talks with China. Jay Shankar reiterates India's call for two-state solution to Israel-Palestine conflict. And border crossings swamped by Afghans after Pakistan's expulsion order. And now for all the details. The King of Bhutan, Jigme Keser Namgyal Wangchuk, on Friday arrived in India for a week-long official visit. Making a pit stop for two days in northeastern state of Assam, the Bhutanese king will proceed to capital New Delhi where he will hold a bilateral meet with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In a statement, the Indian side said the visit would provide an opportunity to both the sides to review the entire gamut of bilateral cooperation and to further advance the exemplary partnership between both the countries. The visit from the Bhutanese monarch comes amid negotiations between Beijing and Thimpu over the border issue. The talks are likely to have implications for India, especially for its security interest in tri-junction of Doklam, which was point of clash between New Delhi and Beijing for a long time. And as the Israel-Hamas war escalates, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Thursday called terrorism unacceptable and reiterated India's call for a two-state solution for Palestine. Speaking at the Joint Secretary Session of the Senate's External Affairs and Defense Commission in Rome, Jay Shankar said New Delhi will not support those who are trying to find a solution through terrorism. If there is an issue of terrorism and we all find terrorism unacceptable. We have to stand up on terrorism. But there is also an issue of Palestine. Uh, the, there has to be a solution to what, what is, uh, you know, the problems which uh, face the Palestinian people. And our view is that it has to be a two-state uh, solution. Well, as the Israel's war of self-defense entered the 28th day, it is continuing the annihilation of Hamas terrorists and their underground tunnels, furthering the second stage of offensive. Moving on, people in New Delhi woke up to a thick layer of toxic haze on Friday as the air quality index in several regions of the Indian capital were reported to be in the severe category. According to Central Pollution Control Board data, the AQI breached 450 across the national capital region, indicating an alarming situation that can affect healthy people and those with existing ailments. In wake of the situation, CAQM, the government body for air quality management, has invoked a grab stage 3 ordering the closure of primary schools for the next two days. Entering of diesel buses and construction work in the region has also been suspended till further notice. Meri bhatar saal ki umar hai, isse laga rakha hai naak pe, isliye ke naak huse, lekin iske baujud bhi aankhon se paani nikalta hai. Kya kar sakte hai? Phir bhi chalna padta hai. Sir, din mein bhi aasi? Din mein bhi, poore din kal raha hai. Dekhte aap. पूरे दिन में ही कल ऐसा था ये नहीं कि अभी है पूरे दिन में चल रहा था ये सब आज ज्यादा महसूस हो रहा है बिल्कुल हो रहा है अब सुबह से ये हालत है तो उसके बाद में क्या होगी सोचो इफेक्ट ऑफ पॉइजनस गैस और ऑल दिस नॉक्शियस टॉक्सिक गैसेस आर रियली हार्मिंग अस ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी सो व्हेन वी इनहेल दैट पर्टिकुलर एयर व्हेन वी गो आउटसाइड सो इट गोज इनटू अवर रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम बट डजंट स्टॉप देयर बिकॉज़ इट गोज इनटू द ब्लड एंड ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी गेट्स अफेक्टेड Moving on, thousands of Afghans are swamping Pakistan's main border, Thorkam, seeking to cross into Afghanistan as the government's deadline has expired for undocumented immigrants to leave or face expulsion. A report. Two days after Pakistan government's deadline expired for undocumented immigrants to leave or face expulsion, tens of thousands of Afghans have continued to swamp the Thorkam border crossing, seeking to cross into Afghanistan. As many loaded their belongings onto trucks, police in Karachi detained the immigrants to send them away on buses. Some people who have been ordered to leave have spent decades in Pakistan, while some have never ever been to Afghanistan and wonder how they can start a new life there. 
आज से रिपैट्रिएशन यहाँ से हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं हमारे पास 120 लोग हैं जिनको हम यहाँ चार कोचेस के कॉन्वॉय बनाकर हम यहाँ से उनको आज भिजवा रहे हैं और ये हम लोग गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिंध फिर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ बलोचिस्तान को हैंड ओवर करेगा जो उनको चमन बॉर्डर तक लेकर जाएंगे और उनको आज रिपैट्रिएट कर देंगे Pakistan government has brushed off calls from the United Nations and Western embassies to reconsider the expulsion plan saying Afghans have been involved in terror attacks and in crimes that undermine security There should be some amnesty given to people so they should uh, it, it was only one month or two months given to the people and say that you leave or you should be arrested I think this this is uh, unfair unfair because you are not taking steps against the against those people who allowed them to enter into pakistan the torkham border has long been a source of bilateral tensions because afghanistan disputes the century old british colonial era demarcation islamabad rejects kabul's objections saying pakistan inherited the international border after gaining independence from britain in 1947 Moving on Pakistan's general elections will be held on 8th of February the country's president Arif Alvi informed on Thursday after a meeting with election commission officials on the directives of the Supreme Court ending uncertainty over the much awaited polls in the cash strapped nation the issue of the election date had been dragging on for weeks after the dissolution of the national assembly on 9th of August as polls should be held within 90 days but the poll body delayed them in order to finalize the electoral districts following the new census held earlier this year Pakistan has been in deepening political turmoil since April 2022 when PTI chief Imran Khan was ousted as prime minister in a no confidence vote he was arrested in early August on corruption charges convicted and sentenced to 3 years his political rivals including the parties of Nawaz Sharif and former president Asif Zardari are likely to face a tough contest in the vote Dalpari or Ferry of the Dal is an advanced life support ambulance boat who was launched this week in the iconic Dal Lake in India's Jammu and Kashmir to cater to medical emergencies. An initiative by NGO Borderless World Foundation, the water ambulance is equipped with cardiac monitors, oxygen support and various medications while well-trained paramedics on board will ensure that critical patients receive timely and efficient medical care in and around the lake. दैट इज़ द रीज़न कि हम लोगों ने इसको काफ़ी रिसर्च किया इसका काफ़ी स्टडी करने के बाद डिसाइड किया कि ऐसा है कि यहाँ पर सर्विस होना चाहिए क्योंकि लोग जो है कभी कोई डूब जाते हैं बीमारी है तो हॉस्पिटल तक पहुँच नहीं पाते वो सारी रीज़न को हम लोगों ने कवर करके इसको बहुत ही इसके जो स्पेसिफिकेशन है इस तरीके से बनाया कि ये लकड़ी से भी ये चला सकते हैं ये मशीन से भी मोटर से भी चला सकते हैं Well the Dal Lake attracts tourists from all parts of the world who enjoy rides in the famed house boats of the lake. The ambulance boat will also provide a sense of security to tourists visiting the area. Obviously isme dono ko fayda milega. Ye sirf locals ko hi nahi balki zyada tar Dal mein to tourist hote hain. Whether they are locals or non-locals ke ya fir bahar international tourists ho yahan pe to overall sab ke liye ye fayda mand hai. कि जब आपकी मोबाइल मेडिकल यूनिट यहाँ डालने के ऊपर से जाती हो टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया